this video we're going to be covering holdout shaders in Cycles Rendering Engine of Blender. So, uh, most people don't have any idea what a holdout shader is or what it does, mostly because if I were to create a holdout shader, it's not going to give you any options, any explanation as to what it does, and as you can see it just appears black. Now, you may be saying, oh okay, so that just makes it completely shadeless and it makes it black. That's not actually true. What it's doing is it's actually removing uh, this from the picture or video. And you can't really see it because we don't have this little option here called transparent checked. That's in your render settings and then film. Now what you can see is that when we render this image, if we use a format such as PNG, we can get a transparent piece of it. And you can move that transparency around and change its geometry. For example, I can move it over here, and now it's transparent over there. And then we could put this into either Photoshop or the Blender's internal or internal compositor and do some really cool stuff with that. Also, we could use it as an alpha mask or anything else that you need some piece of it to be transparent for. And this is the easiest way to do it. And I don't believe you could do this before in internal renderer, but please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. So now we have an easy way to make transparent parts of a three-dimensional image.